For this setup, I'm incorporating some beautiful flowers. Inspired by the twin babies that are coming in with their middle names Violet and Daisy, we've managed to find some beautiful flowers to incorporate here. So the idea for this setup is to shoot it from above and to position the babies side by side in the basket. So the reason that I've got something quite small like that there is because I'm going to use a couple of thick layers here to position over the top of it to help fill my basket. So just an old blanket, something like this, we can just lay directly over the top. And ultimately, we want to be able to sort of fill around the edges so it looks nice and neat on the inside. Now, if you don't take the time to do this and set this up properly before your shoot, you will end up having to do a lot of post-processing work to get your sort of, you know, your blankets and your layers looking nice and neat and removing sort of any distracting areas. So you can see I'm just kind of pulling that blanket towards the edge of the basket there. I'm going to position this so that it sort of sits up towards the edge there of the, the basket because we want to be able to see all of that. And then as I push down, you can see I've got lots of depth there and still lots of space to put those two babies. And now I've got a nice sort of high edge, which I can position one baby here and the other baby there. So a setup like this, I would photograph both of them separately, which we've already done with our first baby down here and then photograph them together. So I'm going to come across the body here and purposely leave this arm out because as I put her in on this side, I'll have her facing this way so I can bring this little arm out and around her sister. All right, so the connection that I want to create here is I want to bring this little arm out and when we bring our second baby in, we're going to put her in on her side um, so that they're facing uh, basically towards each other. Now, because they've been having a little bit of a squirm here, I'm going to let them just sit there for a second and I'll fix this before I go and adjust hands. It's usually my, when they move, I tend to let them kind of then rest and settle because the more you adjust them, the more they'll respond and potentially wake up. So ultimately what I want to do here is keep the hands exactly where they are. We want to bring this little hand over here. I'm going to turn this little one's face up a bit more and try and see if I can hide this hand here um, with either the wrap or get it up underneath that cheek. So you can see these little fingers here. I'm keeping my hand here. Feet are perfect, hands perfect, faces are perfect. I'm just going to use this finger here to roll back those fingers and if I can just take the weight of her head off her sister very quickly I should be able to put those fingers down in underneath that cheek. So with these two fingers, down with the side of the head. There it is. So my focal length is 50 mil here at the moment. I do want to do a little bit of a shift here, which means I'm going to have to bring her face up a bit. And to do that, I'm going to just give this a bit of a push down 